Hi everyone, uh, today we are going to be discussing opportunities in the Chinese EV sector. My name is Gerald, I'm the founder of Beansprout and what we want to help you is to make better investment decisions. What we have seen is the exponential growth in global EV sales. Over the last three years, the number of EVs sold has increased from 2.2 million in 2019 to 6.6 million in 2021. China represents the bulk of the global EV sales um, and it makes up more than 50% of global EV sales last year. What we have seen is the very strong adoption rate of EVs in China. The adoption rate has exceeded 15% and that is way above other markets such as the US where the adoption rate is below 5%. What we also see is that the Chinese dominance in the EV market is unlikely to go away. Based on projections, the number of EVs sold in China is expected to continue growing from the less than 4 million units in 2021 to 11 million units by 2030. This creates significant opportunities within the entire Chinese EV market. So what is driving the very significant push in the Chinese EV market? What we have seen is the development of the entire EV ecosystem because apart from the EV manufacturers, other parts of the supply chain, including the battery makers, would be critical in ensuring the success of the industry. So Elon Musk knows more than anyone else about the importance of batteries towards the entire EV sector growth. What he has said previously is that lithium batteries are the new oil. This probably demonstrates how important batteries are towards the success of the entire EV sector. And China has taken the lead in battery making as well. Apart from the growth of the battery makers, the entire infrastructure system to support EV adoption is also critical. Here, what we see would be a charging station by EV company NIO and the increase in the number of charging stations across China has also helped to increase the adoption of electric vehicles. Despite the very strong growth prospects in the longer term, there has been a slowdown in demand over the past few months and that has led to weakness in the share price of the Chinese EV makers. So, for example, Tesla recently announced price cuts in the Chinese market and that has led to concerns about weakening demand for electric vehicles. The other concern that investors have would be rising raw material cost. We discussed earlier the importance of batteries towards the making of the EVs and the battery costs are estimated to make up close to 30% of the cost of EV production. So when the price of lithium which goes towards the making of batteries go up, there would naturally be concerns that that would eat into the margins of the EV makers. The price of lithium carbonate has soared over the last 12 months from below 100,000 yuan per ton to close to 500,000 yuan per ton. This is something that we are watching very closely for because if the price of lithium remains elevated, that might continue to put pressure on the margins of the EV makers. The higher raw material cost has eroded the profitability of the Chinese EV makers. Uh, if you were to look at the gross margin by the leading Chinese EV makers, over the past few quarters, we have started to see a decline in the margins. Once again, using NIO as an example, the gross margin came down to about 13% from above 15% the same time last year. So this has led to greater investor concerns about the profitability of the Chinese EV makers. What all of this has meant is that the share price of the Chinese EV stocks have come down significantly over the past year. Uh, this is reflected in the share price of NIO as well as Xpeng. 
even if you were to use a broader index such as the China EV ETF, there has been significant declines as well. So a combination of the various concerns we discussed, including the increase in raw material costs, including the concerns around the weaker demand, has led to the weaker performance of the Chinese EV makers. However, investors may actually still perceive that the long-term structural demand for EV makers remain, and that presents interesting opportunities for the EV sector. So having gone through the opportunities in the Chinese EV sector, you'll probably be wondering, how do I get exposure? Uh, we can potentially think about the EV sector through the leading EV manufacturers, such as NIO, that we discussed earlier. Uh, NIO is now listed on the Singapore Exchange, and that offers another opportunity for investors to be looking at the stock. If you prefer a more diversified exposure to the EV sector, there are also ETFs that are available that provide you with the broad-based exposure. If you'd like to know what these ETFs are, catch me on RHB Morning Kappa at 8 on Facebook for my full video on opportunities in the EV sector. This is exclusively for value clients of RHB Investment Bank.